Uh, hey guys, what's up? So, uh, here's my thoughts on episode 3 of Book of Boba Fett, right? So, usually I do these after, like, a few days. But, today I'm doing it a few af hours after I watched it. So, because, you know, I watched it earlier than usual. Um, so, uh, where do I start? Um, beginning of the episode. Uh... Okay, so I'm gonna start with like the flashback scenes, a little thing about them. I felt like, I really liked them, but I also felt like the show should maybe focus, focus more on, um, uh, like the present scenes and stuff. Okay, so I hope you guys can hear me. I don't even want to sell my stuff, but whatever. Because you know my cat's right next to me, but uh, anyways. So, yeah, the flashback scenes, they're really good, interesting. But I feel like it would have made more sense if you want to show that much about Boba, what, what he was for so long. Then, like, why didn't they just make, like, episodes, like a two-season thing? Season one or something shows where he's been. Put a lot more detail into it. Um, and then season two is like where he's after. I feel like it just make a little more sense. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but this is also pretty good. I like it. But I don't know. I feel like it, it kind of. Like. The story could be a bit better. If they didn't. But I don't know. We're three episodes in. So you know. Can't be judging that too much. Um, beginning. Alright, so. Um, I'm putting the beginning. Like, well, I kind of forgot. Okay, so. Alright, come on, hang on. Let me move. Alright. So. The, um. Let's show back up. I remember. Oh, Let's show back up. I'm talking about all right, yeah. So this is the dude. He talks about the thugs who keep taking his water. So we see the thugs. It's like a gang of people who all themselves to become less human and more droid, which is actually pretty cool. And people didn't like how out of place they were, right? Here's what I think personally. Everywhere you go, you're gonna see things out of place. Like I. In Star Wars, there's been things like that ever since it started. Like, Anakin as a Jedi, he was out of place. He wasn't, like, a normal Jedi. Like, he did a lot of things Jedi should never do. Like, it's out of place, the fact that he's a Jedi. Like, Luke being a Jedi knight, serving in the rebellion with people who just learn how to fight for because they hate the Empire. Like, that's just completely different. Like, it's out of place. You wouldn't expect that. Like, it's... It's out of place, like, logically. But obviously, because you know, he grew up in the story, you don't think it's out of place. Um, uh, Yoda living on a swamp? Is that not out of place? A Grand Jedi Master? Would you, like... It's something George thought of, but, I mean, it's out of place. I still think it's great, though. Like, in real life, you see things like these all the time. Like, where I live, a place full of rednecks and shit, like... There's, like like emos with dog collars and shit like there's I, like there's a handful of them you can find like dozens of them a town full of like rednecks like they exist like there's gonna be people who um feel like they're out of place like there's always gonna be people like that exist and in Tatooine we haven't seen people like that before and now we are so I think that's showing it also, I think you gotta notice how colorful their bikes are and stuff. And I don't know if this is something, like, what they were thinking of, but... In, like, the nature world, with a lot of animals and stuff, something that has colorful stripes or, like, patterns or whatever, it's because it's dangerous and it's a warning. So, I don't know, maybe that's why they had that, for the bright colors and stuff. Should they were dangerous? I don't know. It's, it's interesting. Um... I don't know, we don't know their backstories and stuff, so there could be, you know, an explanation for that later on, but, I mean, I think it makes sense, new characters, I mean, 
they're just some same old tattooing people in brown robes who looked old and shit. Like, that'd just be boring. Like, come on. Like, I, I, it makes sense why they did this. Um, and the fact that they enjoyed that was cool. Um, I liked how he added them to this crew. I think everyone's like, oh, Bob was just a yes man. I think he's playing something. I think he's playing, like, the other people, his enemies in the crime war business. Crime boss business, like, all the other people, they're playing, like, checkers. Bob is playing chess, like, seriously. Everyone's just a pawn in his game, honestly. He's playing, like, he's fighting with his mind right now. But at some point, he's actually gonna, like, fight, fight. And this is bringing me to, uh, heavens later on. So, yeah, he condemns the guy who oversell, overprices water. And, um, he asks them to work for him because, you know, they didn't have work. So, um, yeah. Like, I thought that was pretty good. And, alright, so later, you see, Tustin's got killed. It's kind of sad that they, you know, died. But, um, then again, I mean, it was going to happen eventually. There's a reason you didn't stay with him. And he had no reason to, well, I mean, kind of sucked living with them. I would have been wrong, so that's mean at all, to be honest. But yeah, anyways, um, yeah. So it makes sense eventually they got killed, but apparently it's possible a few could have survived. Probably more than a few. At least one, I'm saying, I'm guessing. Because there was one that would be in C. You know, Boba gave him tarp or burial and stuff. I think some Tuskins will probably help him when he needs help. I think there's going to be some epic battle in the last episode, or going to be a cliffhanger to that, to an epic battle, and he, all these alliances and all these friends he's made and stuff, all the people he's been nice to, that's going to pay off when he has a fight. Like, it's, it's, it's a classic move, like, um, what's, what was the word? Okay, it's a quote from Ninjago, I'll show you if you watch from Younger. The best way to feed an enemy is to make them your friend. Boba's not gonna have any enemies if like everyone's an ally of his. And then when he, a real enemy, true enemy, does come up, he's got tons of allies. Even if some don't want to fight him, like he's good. And now onto the Black Crescenton dude. Pretty cool character, really intimidating. Um, so Boba's having the dream of all uh, the Tuscans, whatever. <sighs> Uh, Black Crescenton just, like, chokes him, rips him out of the back to take and starts beating the crap out of him. Um, I think Bobo would have done better, you know, obviously, if his weapons, his armor and stuff. And, you know, if he didn't get attacked while he's unconscious, that usually helps a bit. Like, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, there's probably, like, your average dude could beat the crap out of a UFC fighter if he attacked him while he was sleeping, you know what I mean? And he, had, and he was like naked. Um, but yeah, a lot of people saying that he should have killed him when he did the back thing or should have died when they punched him. I don't know. Bob was a tough guy, so it makes sense that he didn't die. And then I don't know if Black Crescenton was actually trying to kill him. He's trying to take him alive. I'm not 100% sure. And um, I think Bobo could have beaten him the way we see him in this if. He had, like, his weapons and stuff, because, I mean, I think he just outsmarted him. And he landed a few good hits on him. This is why he's attacked, un, like, unready, unprepared at all. Like, it was an assassination attempt. You know, those weren't fair fights ever. Um. So, anyways, uh, people talked about how he looked really weak. He still looked pretty strong. They didn't even beat him. They literally had to outsmart him. So, he's fighting the guards, the Gamorrean, Gamorrean guards. They're really strong. He throws them around like they're nothing. Um, bites one, makes it have to go to the back to chamber. Um, and before this happens, um, the emo guards or whatever, I don't know what they're called. Uh, the biker dudes. Dude, people, the biker people. Ah. Uh, come and they're all fighting and then Fennec shows up and she's the one who presses the lever making fun of the I don't know if they would have beaten him honestly I think they had to outsmart him 
once Bobo was full geared, and I don't think they're beating him. Maybe Fennec could, but still in close range now. <laughs> it's not a fight they're winning. People are saying he's weaker than um in the comics. He was still really strong. He had no actual weapons, and once again, all the people there he didn't it was never his goal to kill, except for maybe Bobo. I I can't remember. I think he was sent to kill him. Pretty sure, but um, like he's not trying to kill Fennec or the guards or anything. He's trying to incapacitate them for a while so he can kill Bobo. Like they 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 don't have anything to do with it. They're not his problem. But um, like what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. So when Black Croissant and he grabs Bobo and he squeezes him, I think. Part of the reason he wasn't able to kill him was because Bobo was like trying to fight him and stuff. And it was just a dude, I guess. Um, but yeah, people say he's not as powerful as in like the comics or whatever. No characters as powerful in canon as they are in comics. It's kind of common sense. Like, let's be real. We all know. It. Like Luke Skywalker could barely defeat Blaster Bolt in like the OGs, but in the comics for that time. He was opening black holes and taking on Star Destroyers, like, I mean, like, they over, like, the comics, it's kind of, it's kind of dumb, like, old school comics, because they literally just get every character, make them the same, but way more powerful, and they had to power scale Black Croissant in, and so, story would make sense, like, if he's just a monster that no one could kill, and, you know, the story would just kind of suck because then no one would be able to kill him and he'd just be destroying everybody and build Bobo's whole army. You know what I mean? Um, like, they have to power people down. Every character is way more powerful than Legends and it makes sense he's not going to be as powerful. But he's still really powerful. Seems to be one of the more powerful body hunters in the galaxy. Didn't even get beaten. He was just um, outsmarted. And I think Boba might fight him. Hopefully, I hope they fight again. Because I want to see if we can win. But um, I think Boba, with full equipment and stuff, would be, though. Depends on how powerful this dude really is. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like people are saying it's so bad. I'd say like 7.5 out of 10. For me. Seven. Pretty good. Um, could have been better. Uh, I didn't really think it was that bad to be honest. Everyone was just complaining about it and stuff, and I, I really didn't think it was that bad. And there's the whole thing about Boba walking out in the robes. I think Boba, I mean, he took him a while to recover from his attack. Um, from Black or something. So then he probably went to get his robes. Uh, and because he knew Fennec would handle business. Because he knows who she is. He knew he wouldn't have to fight uh, Black or something. Because, well, I mean, he probably heard Black or something was, um, like, yelling and fell down the thing. Right? So no need to put on the suit. Um, yeah, I mean, we got four episodes left. First two were really good. This one fell off a bit, but I feel like episode four is gonna make that up. Cause we have four episodes, so we've got a while left. I mean, it's not gonna be all action right now, and I think Boba, his character is gonna do a lot of changing and stuff. But you know, you gotta start somewhere for development. You know, you can't just start as a badass and become a badass, or you know. Um, but right now. I think Bo's just playing it smart, and you know, and if he's healing, why would he want to be in the front lines and fighting and stuff? Like, logically think about that. Why? It's just stupid, right? After he heals, yeah, maybe I'll start fighting him, but like, you know, he's trying to heal and stuff. So, not the best idea. And he's not really a good guy now. He's had like multiple people killed in the streets. So, uh, I don't know. But, um, whatever. Yeah, seven and a half out of ten. Pretty good. Um, I think it's underrated episode so far. 
hype, but I've also had pretty bucks for taking it for the show, so to be fair. But anyways, uh, bye.